You are welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we are told to solve a problem involving triangle. And the question goes like this. It says, construct a triangle ABC, given the base as 60 millimeter and the ratio of the triangle of sides 2 is to 3 is to 4. So in this case here now, we are only given the side of one of the triangle, but we are not given the perimeter of the triangle, right? What you do is, you, you know, for our previous construction, you can click on the link on the top right corner of the screen to see how to construct a triangle that the perimeter is given, right? You discover that you pick the middle number in the ratios. We have 2 is to 3 is to 4. You pick the middle one, which is 3, right? And you divide the base by that value. And the value of this is 3. So, C divided by 3, that will give us what? That is going to give us 20. Multiply by the addition of the entire ratio, which is 2 plus 3 plus 4. And that will give us what? 9. So, 20 times 9 will give us what? 180. So, this means that our ratio, our perimeter of the triangle is what is given to be 100 and what 180 so i'll take my metal rule and i will draw an horizontal line this way right and i'll pick a point on that line let's say this is my point a at this point here i'll pick this point i'll call it point a right and i'm going to divide that line into i'll measure 180 on that line right so I'll take my metal rule and I'll measure 100 and what? 180. So if I do it this way, from 0 to what? To 15 is 150, right? From 0 to 15 is 150. And if I add 30 more, that will give us what? 180. So from A to this point is what? 180. This is my point B. I will good now. So A to B is 180. Or better still, I can take my other metal rule. I'll measure from here from 1 is my 0. So from zero, from 1 to 19 is 180. Right? That will be my point B. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide this into what? Into 9 equal parts. So taking my metal rule this way. Right? And I'll draw an inclined line this way. And I'll pick my compass. Let's move. And I'll pick my compass. And I'll mark on that line 9. So let's start. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and what? 9. Right? So I'm going to connect. The last point like we did in the previous video i'll connect the last point here to this last point here this is what we have here you can see that so when i join them together i will now take my rule in this manner you can place it here so i'll be moving this but if i don't want when i place it this way so i'll be moving my compass on my set square on the metal rule or I can put it this way also, whatever way I want to do it, right? You can click on the link to discover how to do that. So let's move and see how it goes. So when I place this this way, place it this way, right? And I'll come, I can take my T square, whatever I want to take, and I'll place it at this point. And watch the previous video on how you divide your line. Right, so I'll go to the next one, which will be this. I'll go to the next one, which will be this. I'll go to the next one. It will be this. Go to the next one. Give me this. 
So go to the next one. Ish. Then to the next one. Ish. Ish. And this. So this is what we have here. I have divided the line into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine equal parts, right? So what I'll do is I'll start. The first ratio there is two. So this is zero, one, two. That is the first ratio. Second ratio is what three. So from the first ratio, this will be zero, one, two, three. This is the second ratio then the last one is what the third one which is four zero one two three four now what i will look at that this is my base here right and that should be what that should be 60. so let's confirm that and see if it is 60. so from zero to this point you can see from zero to here is what is 60. is that taken now the next thing i'll do is i'll take my compass right and I'll place it at this point. At this point, I'll call this point to be my A and what? My B. So I'll place my compass at this point here. Point A. Right? I'll take it to this point here. And I'll strike an arc this way. You can see that? And also, I'll come to B. Here, take it to the other B here. And I'll check another up this way. So this is what we have here. So where they meet at this point. You can see that? That point will be my point C. So I will now join them together. So joining A to C and joining B to C. So this is what we have. So we should know that the perimeter of this triangle is given to be 100 and what 80. And one of the side here, this is 60 as told. Then if I measure from here to here, here to here will be let's see that will be 82 83 probably 83 and get to here will be 38 right that'll be let me see approximately 39 right so this is how you can construct this particular triangle so if you have found this video helpful Please don't forget to like, subscribe and also share the video. Thanks for watching.